Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to have like a quick little demo of the live that I did on Monday with my new toy from Treasure Trove. It's the Cupinator that I got to demo for them. I'm stoked that they kind of just sent this to me as a surprise. Um, this one's really cool because you get to control the direction that the turner goes in. You can control the speed of the turner. It has a little built-in fan. It, it's just it's just a really cool turner altogether. Um, and I believe it's gonna change the turner game. So they surprised me and they sent me this turner and I was so excited. I jumped on my live and we played around with it and at the last minute I decided to make a cup. So instead of it just living on Instagram, I wanted to throw it up here on YouTube for y'all to see. All right, let's get started. I went ahead and I put on my 20 ounce skinny from Hog. It is already prepped and prepared. Um, and I grabbed four of my shade inks. I know I have more here in picture, but I decided not to use those. So I have my Deuce, I have my G-Wagon, I have my Teaks and my New Moon. New Moon is one of my absolute favorites. I think I use that one just about everything. So these four colors, this combination right here gives off a lot of earthy tones. Make sure you grab a squirt bottle with your alcohol. A spray bottle is really not gonna do the trick here. You really wanna drop it just like you're dropping the ink down on here. I'm gonna set my turner at 12 RPMs. Usually your regular turner goes at about four RPMs. So we're gonna bump it up to 16. And as you can see, I started going in the squiggly line. I grabbed my G-Wagon and I grabbed my New Moon. So I started to drop those down first. I put a layer of my alcohol down so it wasn't dry. Um, I wanted something to glide on, so I put my alcohol on. And then I dropped my two inks. Then I used my heat gun to kind of glide them along and to also dry the alcohol. And as we progressed towards the top, I decided not to do the squiggly lines. I wanted to use the turn of the cup and the speed of the turn to keep it in a straight line. And as we did it every two or three drops, I added more alcohol and I grabbed my dryer. And we're just kind of alternating between colors here. I'll grab my blues and so that way it's not so saturated with one color scheme. And I really rely on my alcohol a lot here to kind of fill in those gaps rather than having a bunch of alcohol. Cause you can't really see it here, but there was a lot of drippage from the alcohol on the bottom of my napkin. And I'm just really hitting it with the heat gun to spread out those colors. And then I'll go back and I'll put some more alcohol and spread the color around because I'll notice that some of the color will get stuck. And all I have to do, instead of adding more ink, I'll just add the alcohol on there to reactivate the color. And with the speed of this turner and the way that it just, just, just spins along so quickly, I want to say that I finished this cup in about, uh, probably like about 10 minutes. This is a really fun project. This is a really fun way to play with your inks. Right away, as soon as I was playing with this cup, I got flooded with ideas. I immediately wanted to jump into another cup. I wanted to make a serape. I wanted to make a rainbow cup. I wanted to make um, a pastel cup. I wanted to make so many different cups because of the speed of this turner. I wanted to see what it would let me do and the possibilities of wrapping it with vinyl or you know how would it play with resin and how would it play with more inks or how would it play with the paste, how would it play with brushes. Just being able to control the speed of the turner itself was just pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I've never played with a turn like this before, so I was pretty excited and I wanted to just keep making cups. So um, that's pretty much about it. I will say that I did not seal this cup. I waited for it to dry and then I immediately um, put on my first layer of Mr. Noah's glass coat epoxy. Um, the reason I didn't seal it is because I was pretty confident it had a good seal and if it did move, if the colors did shift a little bit, I was gonna be okay with that because this was kind of an abstract, natural kind of flow. And I wanted to see how, how the design kind of like moved organically. So I really wasn't, you know, too worried about it moving or shifting. You know, I wasn't married to the design. As you can see, 
This is how the cup turned out. I love it. I'm very excited for it. In fact, I will be gifting this to one of our very special people here in the group. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please go ahead, drop me a comment, subscribe and like, and I will be seeing you next time. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Bye.